Hello, welcome to Polyphonic Press. My name is Jeremy Boyd, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new album by Local Natives entitled Hummingbird. Here we go. So Local Natives are a Los Angeles band formed in 2005 by Taylor Rice, uh, Kelsey Ayer, and Ryan Hahn. They scored a deal with French Kiss Records and released their debut album in 2009 entitled Gorilla Manor. While on tour with The National, they caught the attention and became friends with guitarist Aaron Desner, who offered to uh, produce their next album. And this is their second album to date and is called Hummingbird. And this album starts off with a song called You and I, and it's sort of a slower, kind of more relaxed sort of song. Uh, the thing that immediately stuck out to me on this song in particular was the vocal performance. It kind of harkens back to 70s soul music, kind of like um, Curtis Mayfield or Marvin Gaye or something like that. Something like where the singing is both technically very proficient as well as vulnerable and soulful and something you can really believe in and get behind. I thought the instrumentation was really well done on this song in particular. Uh, it's very sparse with a lot of subtle changes and it doesn't really choke the sound or anything like that. Kind of lets the song sort of speak for itself and uh, you know it kind of lets it breathe and just kind of it sort of it feels organic to me the song black spot starts off with this very rapid intense piano riff that kind of just builds up but the song itself feels like it's building up into something that never really quite gets there it almost gets into something more intense but it just kind of levels off and it doesn't really get to where it's going the way it builds you're, you're kind of expecting a very high and tight groove on the drums this very tight beat uh, is you kind of expect and almost want it to happen but that doesn't really happen what happens is you have a very loose uh, feel with the drums which is fine but that's all that happens if you have the loose feel and then go into something tight that would really make the song pop I think but it never really quite gets there and instead it just falls really shy of to where it needs to be I felt like if they had just pushed a little harder on this song it would have uh, taken it from an okay song to a really amazing song but like I said it just never really quite got there the song black balloons is much faster and it's an okay song but I didn't really connect with it as much as I would like to it doesn't really capture my attention and really when it first came on I thought this was gonna be the highlight of the album uh, unfortunately I was disappointed with that uh, and it just kind of turned into a mediocre song I think it has the curse of sounding like a lot of adult contemporary that's on the radio these days and it just falls into the trap of sounding like everything else while and it doesn't really stand on its own it just kind of blends in with everything else and to be honest I think that might be the problem with this whole album uh, all the songs really kind of have that adult contemporary sort of dreamy indie rock sort of vibe going on with it that you kind of gotten used to over the years it's a sound that's kind of unoriginal and doesn't really you know it doesn't really move things along very much the song Mount Washington was probably my favorite song on the album. It's a little more folky, a little more acoustic driven. It has a lot of folk rock elements that I really love. That combination of acoustic and electric guitar working really well with each other. It sounds like it's almost buried in the mix, but there's uh, actually an upright bass being played with a bow on this song, which I think really makes the song uh, very unique. And to me, even though it's really subtle and you can almost not hear it, that's the hook of the song. Uh, just that subtle little flavor that if it wasn't there you would kind of you know you would feel that something was missing but you don't really notice it. It's just something you can't quite put your finger on. I think it's just one of those things that you don't quite know that it's there until it's taken out of the mix. The album ends with the song Bowery, which is another kind of piano-driven ballad. It's just another song that you would hear on the radio or something like that. Uh, doesn't really do anything for me, doesn't tie up the album or anything like that. It's just kind of there. Uh, just kind of, like I said, it just kind of sounds like everything else. The lyrics on this song are really the only thing that's keeping it together, and I don't think there's a, a bad performance on the album, I don't think it's a badly written song, um, or anything like that in terms of instrumentation, it's just, it suffers from that thing of sounding like everything else. And in terms of structure and aesthetics, it just sounds like uh, they're trying to grab attention and get played on the radio, it doesn't really feel genuine, and doesn't feel like uh, this is really them. The production on this album is okay, I'm not really a fan of 
washing everything in reverb, which is, you know, kind of something they've gone for on this album. The drums and vocals, to me, sound very distant. Uh, then that's one of the things that really make music, uh, yeah, it gives it that human touch, that human element, is the vocals need to be uh, right front and center. That's the most important thing. Uh, especially in like folky music like this. Uh, if the vocals aren't clear and something like that, you know, there's really no point in making music like this that have poignant lyrics. Uh, so I, I think if the vocals weren't washed in reverb and didn't sound as distant, I think that would have made the album quite a bit better. I don't hate this album, but I don't really think it's anything special. I had high hopes for this record, but unfortunately I was a little disappointed. And I think these guys are good musicians, and they, I think they're a good band and good songwriters. It just, they need to find their voice, and hopefully on the next record they do. Uh, they're not, hopefully they don't concern themselves with getting played on radio, and come out with something a little more honest and truthful. So having said that, uh, I'm going to give this album a 6 out of 10. So anyway, that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or the video response and if you'd like to suggest an album for me to review please leave that in the comments as well and i'll see you next time take it easy